This afternoon, we have an opening date finally for the Kentucky Center after that fire back in June. We got a look inside at the work being done to repair it. Our Sarah Wagner joining us now with the timeline and Sarah. Nice to know it's not going to be too long before it reopens. Absolutely, Rachel. Well, we all know coming back from a fire is never easy, and it's even more complicated when it happens at a massive and complex venue like the Kentucky Center. But the team there says it's really proud of the progress so far. There's still a lot of work left, but leaders are confident the doors will be back open shortly. It's not time to hang up the hard hats just yet, but the repairs. Crews are working 10 hour days, two shifts, to make the deadline are rolling on at the Kentucky Center for the Arts. We've had to go through every system of the building, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, fire suppression, and check every device and turn everything back on. The building was basically dead. And so we've had to resurrect it one element at a time. It's a tall order, but there are victories all around. All the duct work, all the seating, all the curtains, Everything in this space has been cleaned and steamed. Whitney Hall is good to go and the staff are back in their offices. We're now focused on just the six floors right in the middle where the water, the significant water damage is. Up next, removing the plaster from the barrel vault ceiling. That'll take a few weeks and let engineers see if the roof structure is sound. If that structural system has some things that we're not expecting, we could have to extend this on into maybe as far as March. The tarps and scaffolding will stick around for now. The lobby's not going to be pretty. But it will be accessible and functional. And that's what the KCA team says matters most. KCA is a crown jewel of Louisville and across the Commonwealth. We want it restored as quickly as possible, ensuring it is safe for everyone to enjoy for many years to come. And leaders have a target date for September 1st for the center to be open again. Some construction will continue between shows, but the team says enough of the center will be ready by that time. The first show will be Louisville Ballet's Romeo and Juliet, followed by Broadway and Louisville's Aladdin. Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News.